people it's saturday we have a bit of snow going on possibly if you can see at the window uh, only a wee bit and we have a simon in the background still all coldy no no not as coldy as he was though I'm not coldy at all. I'm just going to go and get set up to do a video that it should have been up on Friday, but unsurprisingly, I've just been a wee bit flat out. However, in other exciting news, look what turned up. I'm very excited. It's the Kat Von D Locket Foundation, and it's in this right shade for me, which is 44 Light Cool, or Light 44 Cool, however you like to say it. So it's like the second lightest shade that's pig toned. That makes sense. Yeah, because it goes 41, 42, so you have the light, you have warm, warm then cool tone, and then warm and then cool tone. So, very excited. I will be using this today. We had, so let's have a catch up in the week because I'm all over the shop. So, uh, start the week off on Monday, went out for a nice lunch and cups of tea. Oh, well, I say lunch. It was actually just cake and tea at Lindsay's. Winning. That's still lunch. Well, yeah, it's good kind of lunch. Um, and then, so it was Monday. Tuesday, I went and caught up with Natalie and Mackie, her dog. <laughs> Obviously her boyfriend and stuff, uh, Ed. Um, but we hung out for a bit on Tuesday, talked some worky stuff, talked some general stuff, went for a dog walk. That was Simon's phone. <laughs> he has a text tone that's a bit farty. No, he just got to London Bridge Mall. Oh, okay. Um, so that was Tuesday and then Wednesday I went to the creative women entrepreneurs group and that's I got up and spoke in front of the those people There's quite a few people there and I got up <laughs> I got up in front of them all and spoke there's no footage of me speaking But I have sort of recorded bits of somebody else speaking so you can get an idea You can only see about half of the room because there's more people behind her as well Did um, you do the point of wink? No, no point in winking So that was Wednesday um, I've obviously been working in and around all of that and the things that I've been doing have been taking longer than I anticipated so I've ended up working late into the night to try and get caught up. So I've been a wee bit tired. And then Thursday, what did I do? Thursday I had two long meetings so I met up with Claire the that produces the fabulous skincare that I adore. Um, so I met up with her about a creative video project um, to show off <coughs> what she does a bit better. So coming up with ideas for that and planning it out and stuff. So that's really exciting. I'm very excited about that. And then after that, I met with a new client that we've just confirmed. Well, we had sort of confirmed it was just the initial meeting to get to know each other a wee bit because you want to make sure you get on with the people that you're going to work with and that you do work well together. Um, having had an um, unfortunate experience, I didn't want to have a repeat, so I made sure I met her, Sally, so she's really nice. And that meeting went on for much longer than anticipated. It was like three o'clock by the time we finished. We started about, um, so I met Claire at 11, and then I had a half an hour break between half 12 and one, and then it was three o'clock by the time I finished up with Sally, and then I got home. I had to pop in to get my phone checked because the screen on my phone is still broken, and it's starting to go a bit funny on me. So I need to get that fixed, which is annoying, but I never. Um, I, I'm just looking at the snow. And the husband. Husband's about to start watching the rugby. Um, so that was on Thursday. I came home, did some more work into the night. Not too late. I went to bed about half eleven on Thursday. Um, and then Friday, I just was able to stay home and just get a lot of work done. But I was really tired, so I ended up working on the sofa with the slanket on, just doing stuff. And then had um, Pippa from Pippa Says, or... Brighton Girl, that network, the City Girl network. She came up and we had a few bottles of Prosecco and some pizza and some whiskey <laughs> and shared war stories and talk nonsense. And then Simon had his friend Martin down. You've seen Martin before, um, but he came down to visit. So the pair of them were in the pub and they came home and Pippa went home. And then it was like half two in the morning by the time we go to bed. Ish. Ish. More fresh. We we'll started getting ready but half two by the time we made up the bed and stuff for morning. Yeah. And got ready ourselves. So it was about three. And then we were up again first thing this morning. I woke up at half seven. I was like, nope, not getting out of bed. So I got up about ten, I think in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, and then I got really kicked out of bed to go put the kettle on. I did not kick your water up. <laughs> She'll edit this so it doesn't look like I said that. No, because I didn't make you do anything. Are you gonna believe my wonderful boyish face? <laughs> I mean, sorry, sweetie. <laughs> yes, his wonderful boy, his face, or her hair lies. <laughs> she lies. Oh, silly egg. But 
yeah, so now I need to get videos done that I didn't have time for during the week because, as you probably heard, I was a bit, <coughs> a bit flat out. Um, and I was just trying to keep on top of work. I need to make sure I make time to do this stuff because I love this stuff and I need to work better at doing this stuff. Uh, get that routine a bit more established, but I'm getting there. I set up my Trello board and everything. It looks really good. Um, I bit off all of my nails. I picked them all off, so I've put on some fake ones because I want to do a video, record a video of doing my makeup and I didn't want to have ugly hands and also I need to get out of the habit of picking my nails again so sticking fake nails on is a really good way because you can't pick your nails so I've learned to do that over the years but yeah, today is just getting stuff done I need to record some other videos later but I need to plan those out for now I just need to get a makeup look done an alternative Valentine's look that needs to go up today and then I need to plan out the other videos and then tomorrow we have a photo shoot, a couple's photo shoot with Kitty Shaw. She's a photographer, she's moved to Brighton recently and <laughs> she wanted to work with some local people to increase awareness and all that kind of jazz. So we're doing one for that, so that will be up on Valentine's over on the blog. So you need to keep your eyes open for that on the blog. Right, I need to go. I have so much to do and it's very late in the day and it needs to get done. So. Continue. I'm gonna just get on. <laughs> He's such a weird husband. Bye, weird husband. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I've got my hot chocolate, my nails. I need to get set up and get going. I still don't exactly know what kind of look I'm going for, but I have a general idea. <laughs> I need to go. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Hello. So it is Sunday. And we are out, we have left the house, can you believe it? Because we're actually doing a couples photo shoot with Kitty. You can have a Simon as well. Um, so Kitty Shaw, she asked us if we would do stuff with her. And as a guest, definitely, all the fun. It is a bit grey and drizzly. But we have brought the skateboards to have possibly for photos. And also might go for coffee later to get in out of the thing. I am loving the Kat Von D foundation. That stuff is so full coverage, it's impressive. Like my skin is a bit red and angry at the minute and you can't really tell. God damn spot. Yeah. But yes, we are here. We are ready to have our picture taken. It's gonna be fun. We have to get past the awkwardness and then it'll be fun. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All the stupid assignment. <laughs> we haven't done one of these since our wedding. We had our engagement shoot and then the wedding. And now this? It's about time we did one really. Be our last Valentine's in Brighton. Aww. But yes. <laughs> Hello people, how are we doing? So I had the photo we had the photo shoot with um Kitty. She's lovely. She's a bit of a legend. And we had so much fun doing it. Simon's actually off putting dinner on and I've just sat down to edit and realised that I stopped recording because we're too busy having our picture taken and chatting to Kitty and then it was really cold and got home and just did stuff and I've not picked up the thing again. I've literally replied to all PR emails in my inbox. You have no idea how exciting this is. It was getting overwhelming and I now only have 19 emails in that, no, that's a lie, 36 in that, but I'm cleaning it all out, which is very exciting. Like seriously, it's very, very exciting. Um, and yeah, it's very exciting. I've moved all my PR stuff. I've set up a Trello board, an editorial calendar for Trello board because I was using the blogger um, calendar thing in the folder, which does work, but it's in the folder and I feel like I just, I need everything in one place. So I'm putting everything into my Trello boards. So that seems to be slowly coming together. And I'm now gonna sit down and edit the vlog, which I should have done already today, but I did other things like change the bed, sort out the inbox, put on with washing, clean the bathroom. We're having an incident in the bathroom. Yeah, the sink got blocked and Simon was trying to sort it out and it came about that, so you have a U-bend under the sink. We have an S-bend where it just does this um, and before it comes back around. So he was sorting that out and was just giving it, was trying to unhook a bit so that he could get in to get the next bit. And it turns out there was a part of it that wasn't correctly sealed and then a pile of water came flooding it <laughs> so just sorting that out so we can't use the sink at the minute but it's good because i wanted to clean under that sink for ages so it's good in a way because now i can just go in and 
we had to take everything out from under the sink. So I'm going to throw half of it out that we don't need. So, you know, it's good in a way. Yep, that's what I've decided. I am going to get on, get this edited and up for tomorrow. I'm slowly getting back, getting back some control over Honestly Onya because that all went on the wonk. I'm really sorry that a video went up on Sunday instead of Friday, but I'm actually clawing back control again. I just got entirely overwhelmed and I had to get work done elsewhere and then I couldn't focus and I was a wee bit all over the place and I realised looking back that I just overbooked myself last week. I was went and did things pretty much every day and although I seem really sociable and everything and I am, I get incredibly exhausted by it all and I didn't give myself any downtime in between so I was just really tired by the end. So next week I'm not leaving the house except for Tuesday. I've got two meetings on Tuesday which I have to organise and that's it. So I would be hiding and recovering and getting loads of work done and being more productive. But I have to be careful of that and not overbook myself. Yeah, I'm still figuring it out. Anyway, waffly, waffly, waffly. I hope you're doing really well. Thanks so many for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please tell all your friends. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.